Yeah. Ready? Deputy Assistant Chief John Sirocco, S-A-R-R-O-C-C-O. -C -C and this is Deputy Chief, uh, Division Chief Flynn, F-L-Y-N-N. Uh, just to give you a little briefing, at approximately 11.15, we received a call uh, for two uh, people falling down an elevator shaft in the building right behind me. Uh, we, we, we responded in approximately three minutes. We found two member, two uh, victims in the elevator shaft, one on top of the elevator, the second one past the elevator in the elevator pit. The first victim was moved immediately. The second victim was a little more difficult operation. He was underneath the elevator. We had to secure the elevator, set the brake. Uh, we sent our members down below to treat that member. EMS operation, uh, um, operations members who are or uh, medic trains were also down in that pit treating this patient while we set up a mechanical advantage in order to lift that person out of the elevator pit, which was approximately 10 to 15 feet below the elevator. We breached a wall in behind the elevator. We set up a mechanical advantage, or basically a rope system, and uh, we were able to bring that uh, victim up out of the elevator shaft within an hour. All right, uh, as far as the treatment, well, I'll leave that to Chief Flynn on what went down there uh, within the pit uh, for, for treatment. Chief. Good afternoon, everybody. So uh, in regards to the, the patients. Yes, uh, good afternoon. In regards to the uh, patients that were treated today, we had uh, two, uh, one serious and one critical patient that were transported to local area hospitals. Uh, and for this operation, we had our, our rescue medics EMTs and paramedics are working in conjunction with the firefighters to uh, accomplish removal of that second victim, which was uh, transported to the hospital, local hospital. And just to let you guys know, this is this is the best the FDNY has to offer. The training that goes on every day in order to do a technical rescue like that between the FDNY fire operations and FDNY EMS operations working in concert with each other in order to save this person's life that's underneath is, is, is just astounding on what we do. We train every day for something like this, and when it happens, we're ready to go, okay? Yes, he was, yes, he was. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we're not gonna get into his injury, but he was serious, critical actually, yeah, so. Yes. No, they fed this, the elevator was below. They fell on top and between the elevator and the shaft down below. Okay. Thank you, Chief. So, it's a five-story building. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day, everybody. Excuse me, uh, uh, Fire Chief uh, uh, EMS. Uh, I saw you guys prepping lines and IVs. What, what, what was the treatment? What were they working on? Well, I can't get into exactly what what they were. They're doing their, their normal treatment for extended operation for same as they would any other patient that, that's on scene that they have a, a long time to extricate. The starting IVs, giving oxygen, all things of that nature. 